Yeah, we're doing Ralph here, Ralph for Customs. Uh, another bit of a mix and match up. Did a little bit of machining, a little bit of uh, fabrication work. Mostly, I've been moving in the new to me milling machine. Let's have a look. <laughs> So we've got the handlebars done, they're all cleaned up, I've took all the old stove enamel in off, well powder coating, it's not enamel anymore, it's plastic, and the ends are out, ready to be re powder coated. Next on the agenda is this indicator bar that is now too wide, there's uh, indicators sit on the ends of this, look, grab these, well one of these, these go in there, look. they fit like that. And it's too wide for the uh, new front end. So I'm going to shorten it by three inches, which probably means if these threads are something I've got a tap for, they probably are, then uh, I'm going to make some new threaded inserts, chop this back, weld them in. Bit of lathe work, bit of cutting, bit of welding. So we need to clean the inside. Uh, it turns out I can't make new slugs with the thread in because I don't have that thread. It's a uh, Looks like an M10 by 1.25, which is not a size I have. So anyway, I'm going to make some slugs up and join them up. I'm just going to die grind the, the insides out clean, ready, um, and then make some slugs. So I'm just, I've put some there, so I'm just cleaning them around up. And I'm putting a nice, decent chamfer on there. Um, to give us a bit of a start for, for pressing them in and move the uh, oil bottle out of the way and now I'm just using the de-bearing tool to clean the inside of So now they're pressed in, we can tap them into place um, before we put the whole thing together and weld it up. So we've welded and media blasted and fitted that. I've not bothered fitting the indicators on the end because they have to come off again, won't they? So, but all in all, that's all right. I might see if he wants me to drop it underneath, although then these holes will be poking up. Again, I didn't make this, I've just modified it, and uh, I think it's all right, eh, actually. You know, so that's bars done, indicator stem done, yokes done, headlight bracket done, Front end fitted, it's about time to strip it all back down again and make it look pretty. So next up is a pair of replacement side panels from my mate Titch. Uh, I'm not doing them with a the mesh in because he's got a pair, obviously. The issue I've got really is not having the bike here to fit them on to make sure they fit. Um, but I've got those ones to work from and I've traced around them to make a pattern, I've used them as a pattern on the sheet there and we'll use the plasma cutter to cut that out then we'll clean them up drill the holes in and go over to the pipe anvil to form the curves in the top no worries
So there we go. Titchy's side panels. Big shout out if you're watching, bruv. It's only metal. Um, I ended up not using this uh, pipe handle in the end because a bit. That one's got a bit of a radius, but then it's a sharp bend. This one's a sharp bend both sides. So you know, I've uh, I've tried to duplicate that the best I can. Like I say, it's not easy with not having the vehicle, but they're all good. One pair of solid side panels. And so onto these bars. Now these are uh, four inch centers on the risers and Bill needs them three and a half inch. Look, so they're four inch at the minute and they need to be three and a half inch. Now the problem I have is uh, holding them in my jig because I don't have these whatever size these are, half inch UNF. I don't have nuts that size. I might have to make some adapters up. Um, and then it's really simple. I'm going to cut uh, a quarter of an inch out. I'm going to make a slug that fits in. I'm going to weld them up and clean them up. Job done. Piece of piece. Quick update. I've not got any fastenings. Uh, I've got a couple of bolts off inch UNF, but they're not going to do it, are they? I need nuts. And my off inch UNF tap is just not a fucking tap anymore. So I'm going to get a bit of tooling ordered. I've even, those in the know will know, look, the things you find, I'm going to say that, consulted the oracle, my friends. I was throwing down chicken bones and looking for the pattern there. What's that? Oh, there's always something. I've consulted the oracle and the oracle so says... So getting ready to buy bring a in tap. the latest Make some nuts. We've got Do a Harrison milling machine. A 600 range that matches the lathe perfectly. So I'm going to try and squeeze it in somewhere down this end. Now, it don't look it through the screen as I'm filming this, and I don't think you can hear it. I think it's just past thunderstorms. Just as I'm waiting for the milling machine to be dropped off on a Sunday night, I've done my best to make room to clear a space, but I'm not entirely sure how big it is. Now, it's either going to have to go next to its Brother, sister, don't know what you call it. Next to the Aris 140 lathe, or it's going to go sideways on, so it's going to stand here somewhere in that space there. I'm not really sure till it gets here. I've tried to clear the space. I'll probably move that steel rack out. Uh, I've been meaning to change that out for a metal one because uh, as I've gathered more bits and bobs and little bits of stock and off course it's uh, sagging a little bit there it's not not doing as well as it was bless it so we'll probably change that to a steel one um we've got a rake of them right here look up on the roof these sort of thing this sort of shit so i might pull that out now while i'm waiting i'll have a quick brew this should be here within 15 minutes so all being well i'll get it in here if the rain stops for long enough, I might even have a chance to give it a jet wash before I bring it in, which would be a really good idea. Uh, we'll see. See how it goes. <sighs> well, I guess that answers that question when it comes to the little steel shelf. It took me ages to take all that off, move it and put it all back on exactly where it was. If only I had a... There we go. Here she is, look, little bastard. I oh, mean, little beauty. Hey, <laughs> in all the glory. You try and get her squeezed in down that end. It's uh, smaller in real life, not for the first time. Let's see what we can do. You wouldn't believe you know, this room that I've got. Because a lot of what, well, everything that's in here is precious for a start off. And a lot of it don't work. I can't start that up, take it outside, bring it back in. And I wouldn't do that anyway because you're pissing it down. Same with most of what's in here. 
So you won't believe the game I've had. I've done a hundred point turn. I didn't lift it right up in the air to just go over everything. Imagine now over these. Fucking hell, you know what I mean? There's a ton of machinery on there. <clears throat> anyway, it's going to live somewhere around there, I think. Uh, I've just got to try and work out a system for lifting it off that pallet. Now, I spy, in my little eye, Mr. Harrison's patented big fucking holes, and I reckon they're there for passing the ball through for lifting it up with. There's an eye in the top, but a dent. Even though, to be fair, it's straight up and down, it's all that it needs, or thereabouts. So, it might be time for a brew and reflect. So, it's 10 o'clock on a Sunday night, <clears throat> and we've put things in place, put things to bed, had a quick tidy up, I'm ready for tomorrow. So, there's a place for everything, and everything in its place. Um, the old, the old ye milling machine, let's get a drawbar out of it. Uh, not sure if the tooling I've got is going to be any good, but I've bought some uh, E32, ER32 collets because I've got a full set on the other little baby mill over there. Lot, anyway, that's about there. I'm going to move that pallet out tomorrow, and all in all, I think that those two are going to do us proud. So, you're going to have to follow me for regular updates. See how I get it back to life and get it cleaned up and get it working. Um, a couple of Brucey bonuses were these T2 tool holders. They came in the box of tooling with it. So they fit my uh, Harrison lathe. So that's all good. I'll get them cleaned up. And there's a... Not sure where I've put them now. The big box of old spanners and all sorts of stuff, like all these collet bits and bobs. And... There's a load of Morse taper adapters. Oh, they're here, look. It's a shed full. All sorts. So, most of which are absolutely no use at all to me. Three to twos and two to threes and yeah, there's another two to three and, and two to ones or one to twos, are they? You know, these are actually, I use these. Um, and probably use them. But I wouldn't use them, I don't think. Anyway, that's it. We're sorted. We're all ready to rock and roll. Like I say, follow me for updates. Uh, please subscribe. Check out my friends below. And take care, stay safe everyone, lots of love. <laughs>